Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Today I'll be talking about the French school system. If you're planning to come live in France with your family, this video is for you. I'll be covering the school system from daycare to middle school. And if you're interested in the high school and university French system, check out our French school system part 2. I will link it down in the description box. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and feel free to ask us any questions you may have down in the comments below. Also, be sure to visit us at streetfrench.org for more resources to help you learn French. Okay, let's start. Okay, first step is daycare. In French, we say la crèche. La crèche. This is the place where you can leave your baby, people can take care of it while you have to go to work. They accept babies that are two months old to three year old kids. There are different kinds of crèche. You have the crèche municipale uh, that is organized by the district or the town you live in. Then there are private ones and then there are business crèche that are organized by companies and integrated in the companies. It's usually really hard to find a spot. I heard even nearly like impossible. Parents have to apply as soon as possible, as early as the second or third month of pregnancy. It's not free. It depends on the daycare center, it depends on the location, and it is calculated according to the parent's salary. It's non-obligatory. For example, I've never been to a daycare and I always had nannies like a lot of other kids. After that comes kindergarten. In French, it's la maternelle. La maternelle. So kids from the age of three to five go there. They learn how it is to be in a class with classmates, how to behave. They start learning how to write and read and they do a lot of creative work too. Actually, kids have to go in the school of their neighborhood. So it's only in high school and university that students and parents can pick a school for their kids. Except maybe if it's a private school. I'm sure there are some exceptions. So there are three levels. First one is la petite section de maternelle. Or we also say la petite section. La petite section. Second level is moyenne section de maternelle moyenne section and third one and the last one is grande section de maternelle la grande section de maternelle ou grande section professors are called instituteurs or institutrice and the kids call them maître or maîtresse and sometimes maybe for example monsieur dupont ou madame dupont it's free and also non-obligatory, but most of the kids go there. Again, I just went for two years. I went for the second and the third year. So, moyenne section and grande section de maternelle. Actually, education is obligatory for kids from the age of 6 to 16. So, before that, it depends on the situation. If the kid doesn't go in one or two years of the kindergarten, it's not a big deal. You can always find a solution depending on the, the situation in your family and the level of your kid. Then comes elementary school. In French we say école primaire or école élémentaire. Personally, I've always heard école primaire, so you can stick with that. I think it's, it's safe. <laughs> Kids go there for five years, from the age of six to eleven. They start to learn a bit of everything. Grammar, history, maths, and sometimes even a little bit of English. This school is free and obligatory. Actually, in France, education is obligatory from the age of six to sixteen. If they don't go to a school, it's fine. They have to be homeschooled. So the different levels are a bit complicated, but here is the chart. First year is CP, CP. It stands for cours préparatoire. Then the second year is CE1, CE1. It stands for cours élémentaire. Then third year is CE2, cours élémentaire 2, CE2. Fourth year is CM1, CM1. It stands for cours moyen. And then the last year, the fifth year, is CM2. CM2. CP, CE1, CE2, CM1, 
CM2, okay? <laughs> it's a bit confusing. <laughs> In this school, kids still call their professors maître or maîtresse, or sometimes monsieur and madame as they get older. For lunch, parents can decide if they want their kids to eat at school. So they have to pay for that service and they have to pay for lunch. Or they can decide for their kids to come back home and they prepare something. Personally, I've never came back home for lunch. I would always stay in school because my parents were working so much. And that's the case for many kids. Then the school after that is middle school. And in French, it is le collège. Le collège. I know it's a bit confusing because college in English means university, but stick with me, that's how we say it. <laughs> this school is free and obligatory. Students go there for four years from the age of 11 to 14, 15. Kids can still eat at school or at home if they prefer. And students stop calling the professors maître or maîtresse. That is over, that's kids talk. They say Monsieur Dupont or Madame Dupont. Here are the different levels and classes. First year is called sixième, la sixième. Then second year is called la cinquième, la cinquième. Third year is called la quatrième, la quatrième and last year is called la troisième, la troisième. As their main subjects, kids learn French grammar, French literature, history, geography, chemistry, physics, biology, and foreign languages. Actually, we don't say biology for biology. In French, we say SVT, SVT. It stands for Science et Vie de la Terre, but we say SVT, it's faster. So this school is also when we start learning foreign languages. So in the first year of college, we have to choose our first foreign language. Personally, I had to choose between English and German, and I chose English. Then in the second year, you can decide if you want to learn Latin, and then later on, we could also add Greek. Then in the third year, we have to choose our second language, for example, in my school, we had to choose between German and Spanish. So everything I'm telling you are examples from my schools. I'm sure that in other schools they have more choices, maybe sometimes less, but mainly that's how it works. You have to study two languages and Latin and Greek are optional. The fourth and last year of college is the hardest one. That's actually when a lot of students fail and repeat the year. Because at the end of the year, there is a national exam called le brevet des troisièmes, ou le brevet. So that is our first official diploma. Today, le brevet, even though it's necessary because you really need it to go to high school, it doesn't have such a strong meaning because most of the kids pass it. Back in the days, people would only have that diploma for the rest of their lives, when my dad was a kid and even before that, kids would only go to school until they are 13 or 14 because they had to go to work after that with their parents or in different shops. Now this is everything I will talk about in this video. Make sure you check out part 2 if you want to know more about French high school and university. Is the school system in your country any similar to the French one? Or does anything I talked about in this video sound crazy to you? We read all the comments so feel free to ask us anything down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends who are also learning French. Also for more French lessons, check out our free French e-course on our website streetfrench.org. Okay, thank you! Au revoir, salut!